at the animal. They tell you don't throw things at the animal. Yep. You're there to be entertained. Your entertainment does not mean throwing ice and beer on me. Does not mean you yelling obscenities and profanities at me. Back to Michael. Skip, I really wish he would stop doing what he's doing in the victory formation. He's going to get somebody's hurt. Diving at people. Needs. I get it. If you, if you want to play hard, if you want to rush, rush like you normally would. Because at no point in time does Michael Bennett does this unless it's a goal line situation or a fourth down situation. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go hit the guy in the mouth, do that. But diving at the guy's knees, that's uncalled for. Because what it does is that it sets your teammates up to get some of this blowback. Yep. Although they might not get you, they might end up injuring somebody else, one of your teammates. I really think it's unnecessary. You had ample time to have an impact on the outcome of this ball game. It didn't go in your favor this time. They're going down in the victory formation. Let it go. I understand the frustration is very high. Skip, maybe Michael Bennett is starting to come to the realization that this thing is not going to be like it once was. Mm -hmm. Richard Sherman is going to be coming off an Achilles injury. He's getting up there in age. A lot of these guys, Cam Chancellor had the neck injury. We don't know if he's going to be able to come back. And if he does, how effective will he be? I get it. The frustration is high. You're losing. And you thought you were going to be better at this point than what you actually are. But I think this is uncalled for. Um, Sheldon Richardson probably going to get suspended a game. Yep. Throw, throwing a punch. The NFL is going to clean this kind of stuff up. Uh, Quentin Jefferson, although I understand your frustration, young man, it's hard. Um, Jacksonville, fans of Jacksonville, I'm talking to the ones that would do something like this. This is the first time in a very long time you've had something positive to cheer about when it comes to your ball club. And you've already won the game. Normally, you throw stuff at teams that the players that win because you're upset they beat your ball club. Skip, you've already, you've already won. You won the game. Yep. So that's not enough for you to win the game. Now you want to try to humiliate and denigrate someone by throwing something on them. Why? Skip, why would they do that? I don't get it. Does that make you feel good? And I, I tell people all the time, alcohol changes your behavior. It doesn't change your morals because you won't do anything drunk you didn't at least think about sober. That's how it works. But you don't go to the game to pour drinks or to throw ice or to hurl, to hurl slurs and obscenities at a play. That's not what you You go to get entertained. And if the entertainment um, is about you throwing things at a player or yelling obscenities, stay home. Now, whomever did this, they need to be found out, and they should never, ever be allowed to come to a Jacksonville Jaguars game again. That's, should you, that's what their punishment should be. Fans, you, you're taking this thing too far because at the end of the day, mm. they're exceptionally talented, but they're still human beings. Ask yourself, and that's what I always say, would you set it, when you hide behind the keyboard courage is what I call it, Twitter muscle. Everybody got them, ooh, they got big old muscles on Twitter, Skip. If you saw one of these men walking down the street, would you call them an N? Would you curse them? Would you throw things on them? I think not. Don't think because you get to buy a ticket and you're protected by a barrier, you get to say and do whatever you want to do. Mm. Enjoy the game. If your team, boo them. Scream, be upset. But sometimes fans take it too far. There's no question whomever threw the ice, whomever threw the beer, mm. and if they yelled obscenities, they went far too far. I think the NFL is going to look at this. I believe uh, Sheldon Richardson will get suspended the game, Skip, because he threw a punch. And remember, they said they're going to look, they're going to start cracking down on these non-football mm -hmm. plays. Throwing a punch is not a football play. So he should be expected to be mm -hmm. suspended for one, maybe even two games. Mm. So you covered a lot of ground. This has lots of layers. I'm going to do big picture Seattle Seahawks. I've always thought this about the Seahawks. They have winning character. They don't have much losing character because when they lose, they mostly just want to fight. Yep. Right? So let's go to victory formation. The, the classy way to play this is to go half speed at it. You, you just. You take one step. You, you that's just, what you do. You accept your fate. They have won the game. I know it's been chippy from mm -hmm. start to finish. Jacksonville plays chippy, man. Yeah. Jalen Ramsey plays. There, there's a lot of talk going on. You know what happens, Skip? Yeah. Seattle sees Jacksonville in themselves. They do. They're coming. In, they're they're becoming the new. That's Seattle. the way they play. I, I would defense. agree. Yeah. No, I'm with they you. They run the ball and the that quarterback get out of harm's way. That is correct. 
but by the letter of the law, or maybe you could say the law of the NFL jungle, you, you can play to the final gun. You, yes, you can yes. go. If you, if you want to blow it up, you can yeah. blow up the kneel-down formation. Uh, I just, I'm mm -hmm. with you. I just don't like going for the center's knees when he's basically a defenseless player. Correct. Because he can't even really see you or no. hold you off. Right. Right? Right. And so Brandon Linder is the, the center, and, and he's in there pushing and shoving because he's got – a living to make, and he thought that got threatened. And a right. lot of the Jacksonville uh, players said in the locker room, it's just dirty play. You're trying to cost us our, our careers mm -hmm. here. And they changed the rule. Offensive linemen, Skip, they don't let offensive linemen cut in the interior line like they, like they once they did. They don't. And I've said this many, many times on television about Sheldon Richardson. He's got huge talent, but off the field, as you know, he's had character issues. Yes. So it doesn't surprise me that he – lost it and went over the edge and threw a punch and I'm with you. He's the one who's going to get suspended. Now to Quentin Jefferson. I hear you. You're right about the price of that ticket doesn't give you the right to, to yell or throw or whatever you want to do. But conversely, I don't know what Quentin Jefferson can prove. Let's say he hypothetically, he goes in the stands and he finds the guy who threw the whatever. Threw the ice or whatever it was, yeah. correct. And there are a whole bunch of people screaming at him. Mm -hmm. But let's say he sees who threw whatever, and he goes up and gets a hold of him, and he beats him to a pulp. <laughs> okay, help me out. What does that prove? Where is that going? Well, he's probably going to go to jail. He's going to jail. He's going to be suspended for a very, very long and, time. And he's going to get sued for millions yes. of dollars, yes. right? Yes. So it's it's like futile there. I don't know what you can do. I, I'm with you. Just and, and I get what Michael's saying. He's a man, and he deserves to to defend himself as a man. I got it, but it's a losing battle. I don't know where you go with it. You you really have to let security, and I saw two or three security yes. guys leaping up onto yes. the next level to go after him. Right. So at least they were on the scene, man. They were on the case. And this is what I don't get, Skip. If a, an actor or an actress, they're in a movie, and the movie is terrible, do you see the actor, the actor or actress walking down the street? You don't point anything on them. You wouldn't do that. But you're there to be entertained. But you feel you can you feel you can do that to them. Ah, oh, what are you gonna do? I, I'm not the, I'm there to entertain you. My, your, my entertainment benefit to you does not give you permission to throw things at or on me. Doesn't give you permission to yell racial epithets or to re slurs at me. That's not my job is to go out there and try to tackle, sack the quarterback, score touchdowns. That's the inter entertainment value that I provide. Right. But then you skip, skip. These fans, they go too far, man. Oh, he's just mm -hmm. a fan. Just. But, woo. And by the way, just a quick aside. I'm not saying that the N word wasn't yelled because it, it's very yeah. possible it was. But two of the Jacksonville fans in Jacksonville jerseys in the front row yelling the loudest were two black guys. Mm -hmm. So, so it's not. It was a mixed yeah. uh, crowd. I, I, Skip, I don't have right. no. I don't have no. Pro I don't have a problem with the yelling. For me. Mainly, people got most upset at me yep. when we won, cause you know I'm talking, yeah, I'm right. rubbing it in. You're right. Skip, if you beat me, what's there to talk about? I'm just, I'm got my just head because down. Because it was a fight, and yeah, and, and this is all new to them. Like it's been a long time, man. Yeah, I would say act yeah. like you've been there before, but yeah, but I haven't. Been they there have, before. but it's been a while. Well, so well, they last kind of years, that yeah. well, the, the, the last, else. the last time was at Denver in a playoff game with Mark Brunel, right? Was well, no, they – I know, they, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I was bringing up a oh, oh, sore yeah. spot for you. Yeah, right? we, our fans should have jumped on them. They should have jumped them. Yeah, right. Keenan McCardell yeah. and Jimmy Smith and, yeah. and Brunel, wow. Nature, I mean, I wouldn't have even felt bad. I'd have mm -hmm. helped them. What year was that? I don't want to talk yeah, about right. it. <laughs> it was after the 96 season. 96. That was the worst loss of my life. It was. It was the worst loss of your life, except for the losses you suffer on the show. But no, I beat you down, Skip. Yeah. I feel bright. I feel very good. I mean, I beat it. Sometimes I come in, you're like, oh. Uh, and then when I leave, I'm like, yeah, I feel good. I'm re reinvigorated, mm. rejuvenated. I don't think Joy's buying that. That's what my counsel said. Mm. She said, I need you to go to work tomorrow and bust. That's what she told me. Go to work tomorrow you're and what? my counselor. You're going to counseling yes, because is. of this show? She said, go bust him <laughs> up again. Because I told her I needed uh, some medication. I uh, said, I need something to, to pick uh, me up. Uh, she said, beat Skip down okay. five days a week mm -hmm. and call me on Monday. Just try some uh, Diet Mountain Dew. I ain't drank, drank mm -hmm. that mess. <laughs> no. I'm about to get a bunch of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would have had a bunch of it if, if Carson had to went down because mm -hmm. you know he's going to win the MVP, Skip. You know he was. I, I'm afraid Tom Brady just surged ahead. <laughs> you, you think? <laughs> Magic Johnson had some interesting comments about Lonzo Ball, and we'll discuss